This is a bike lane, and to be honest, I don't fully understand how it works. With the spread of COVID, the less and less public transportation has become accessible. There are now fewer jeeps, bus, tricycle, FX, and train trips than the usual. Thus, the rise of alternative transport booms here in the Philippines. You could really see the rise in the numbers of bikes, scooters, on the roads. With that in mind, the Philippine government pushes the initiative to create more bike lanes for the safety of the public transport. But to really understand how this bike lane works, Okay, for today's video, I'll be bringing you around my bike ride around the city of Las Piñas. There are only a few bike lanes here, so my experience might be different than yours, especially if you live in a different city. My goal for this video is to try to learn how the bike lane works because it's being newly introduced in the country and what are the rules and etiquettes that you should follow in a bike lane because I myself am not aware of all the rules that you should follow in a bike lane. So let's just go around and see. This is the closest bike lane around my area. This is a segment of C5 extension passing through Las Piñas going to Paranaque. I guess my first question is, are bike lanes two-way or one-way? The ones that I usually pass through has only one arrow going forward, so I suppose it is a one-way but a lot of times I encounter other people going my opposite direction so it makes me ask myself if it is a one-way lane or it is a two-way lane. Another question that bothers me is what kind of transportation is allowed in a bike lane? Obviously bike, e-bike, scooters, e-scooters are allowed. I'm not really sure if we allowed skateboard here. Obviously, cars, trucks, and motorcycles are not allowed, but what really puzzles me are e-tricycle. Are they allowed to use the bike lane? Another thing that confuses me are the people that jogs in the bike lane. I mean, it's really weird, right? Lastly, obstructions in the bike lane. Usually, cars using it as a parking space or to pull over there to wait for something. Is that allowed or recommended? And what do we do to the bikers that don't use the bike lane even if it is available for them to use? The more complicated ones for me is how do you properly overtake someone slower than you in a bike lane? This is me making this video as someone who rides a bike that has a lot of questions about the bike lane and I just want to have a more peaceful way of commuting. I'm not a bike enthusiast, I'm just someone who rides a bike to bring myself from point A to point B and I just want to go to my destination more safely and at the same time I drive a car and I wanted to learn the tendencies of bike riders so that I could avoid unintended accidents. To sum up my experience, I think having a bike lane is better than having none. At least now there's really a designated lane for bikers and during my trip, both motorcycles and car respected the bike lane and there's no motorcycles that uses the bike lane unlike the bike lane in EDSA that I saw on James Dickens' TikTok. I could say that 70% of my trip in the bike lane was good. But the remaining 30% was bad because of the counterflows, the people jogging in the bike lane, the unnecessary obstructions, and I definitely think that it could be easily improved. To end this video, I'm just sick and tired of how driving rules and regulations work here. I remember from one of the podcasts that I'm listening, they mentioned that in Southeast Asia, which includes the Philippines, there are actually no driving rules and regulations. There are only driving suggestions which people don't even follow. My God, driving in just Southeast Asia in general is just nothing like driving in Japan or driving in the UK or anything. Like. <laughs> yeah. So let, let me let me describe what it is like driving in one of these kinds of countries. Okay, okay so in Thailand, we don't have road rules. We have road suggestions. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's kind of, so we technically have rules, but whether people follow them or not is up to the individual driver. <laughs> it's like a Mario Kart with like a lot more death. I mean, I went to the Philippines a couple of years ago to go see Aki's family and yeah. we had to drive through Manila. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the most terrifying things ever because not only is there no lanes and it's the same thing, like it's just whoever gets in there first, but there's also people just on the road just in the middle of the road oh, trying no. to cross. The, the worst thing is like the people on the middle of the road who have just no fear of death. Yeah. And then 
motorcycles as well. Motorcycles are like the fucking like annoying housefly that you that you just can't like like fucking swat away, but they're always there and you yeah. always need to be aware of them. Just before this video ends, I just wanted to share some traffic rules and etiquette for new bikers I found from my book Philippines. If you want to read the whole article, I'll link it down below. So I'll just read them briefly. Number one, always be visible. Number two, ride predictably. Number three, um, don't go all the way to the front during a stop. Number four, wear your safety gear. All right, that's it for this video. I'm really hoping for a more cautious driving manner for our country. I definitely think that we tend to neglect a lot of simple driving manners such as uh, slowing down on curves, slowing down on crossroads, uh, maintaining a safe distance between us and the car in front of us, or um, just turning on your lights during nighttime, not to mention the habit of sudden changing of lanes. And I definitely think that a lot of uh, drivers neglect the simple driving manner. And if you could just uh, change this or, or uh, improve this driving manner, I definitely think that we could reduce the amount of accidents we are having on the road. If there are other driving manners that you think we should change or improve on, let me know them in the comments section down below. I'll try to read them and learn for myself and hopefully others might read them as well. So that's it for this video. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Bye!